otherwise disenfranchised and probably out of the playoff race. Expectation. Quality. Were expectations too high for this squad? Everybody had you all anointed as being in the Super Bowl. No, I think everybody had Tampa Bay anointed to be in the Super Bowl. Now, in the offseason, everybody was talking about because his prime of, right, times right. coming to town Bruce, and everybody else. myself, Mark Carrier, Jeff George. Right. But I didn't feel like it was the team that Jeff was going to walk over everyone. In the newspapers and around town, no one is happy about the Redskins' knack for winning the big games, but losing the small ones. Well, the local newspaper here used the words, it was a numbing end to a tumultuous and extraordinary day. <laughs> Were they writing about the situation down in Florida or the Eagles game? Uh, Florida. <laughs> it's, it's hard to, you know, to have a, a, a real good faith in our political system, system right now, the way they're handling things. But we should still have faith you in have, the Redskins. You gotta have faith in the Redskins. Everybody's, so to speak, jumping off of the bandwagon or, or writing us off except for the people that are in this locker room and our coaching staff. We're gonna be fine. Everybody who's played with you have said Dion is the man in the locker room because you really do get the guys going, and even on the field, practice field. What's missing? What have you had to do to try to get them there? That's not my role here. Okay. I just come in, I wanted to fit in and uh, just be one of the guys. I'm not the one who's gonna get up in the locker room and shout. I've never been that type of player. I just perform, and my game spoke louder than my words. There was a lot of hype. And there's a lot of superstars and a lot of, you know, all the circus and stuff. But, you know, I, I know that football is really just, it's, it's a blue-collar man's uh, game. Are there not enough blue-collar workers? I'm pointing at every one of us as players, not at one player. But you have to really maintain a, ma a mentality throughout the course of a game. D.C. is not exactly a blue-collar town, but today, quarterback Brad Johnson returns from the injured list, and so does Stephen Davis. He'll try and ignore a hairline fracture in his right arm. Stephen, are you going to be able to play Sunday? I got to cut it off. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. And you'll be able to hold on to the ball, you think? I got a left arm. I know it's going to be difficult. I know they're going to be trying to come at me. But, you know, it's just part of the game. With their five losses by a grand total of 21 points, it's also a part of the game that Dan Snyder, the team's owner, may fire Norv Turner after the season, or Norv may leave on his own accord. Norv has options. <laughs> Norv have options. He's sitting pretty. So, bottom line, you still think this squad belongs in the Super Bowl? Well, yeah. I, I belong honestly. in the Super Bowl. I belong in the Super Bowl. Honestly. 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 <laughs> you know, Howie, I remember talking with you in the offseason, and so much of the, the hype about Washington was just that. It was manufactured because they hadn't earned it.